Hello, and welcome to another CA SysView performance management tutorial. In this video, we will cover how to trace CICS transactions using the CICS exec interface trace command. The CICS exec interface trace command, or CEI trace, is available beginning with SysView 14.1. CEI trace allows you to display and modify definitions that control the monitoring or tracing of exec interface requests in CICS transactions. To better understand how CEI trace monitors CICS transactions, let's create a definition by issuing the add subcommand on the primary input field. This brings us to the add definition panel. The definition name field is an arbitrary value you choose to refer to this definition when using the CEI trace command. Let's choose the name A Browse since that is a transaction we will be tracing. Notice that all the match criteria fields default to your variable length masking character. To narrow down the number of transactions to trace, you can input a specific name, a generic name, or a logical group name. In our definition, we would like to trace the ABRW transaction with any job name, terminal, and user ID. The definition attributes include the status, trace level, and match limit. When creating definitions, it is recommended to add them in a status of disabled and then enable them when you are ready to start tracing. Trace level can either be summary or detailed to show exec interface calls in groups or individually. We will set trace level to detail for this definition. Match limit indicates how many transactions fitting the match criteria should be traced until the definition is disabled. We will leave the match limit as none, meaning that it will continue to trace transactions until it is manually disabled. We are done creating this exec interface trace definition, so let's PF3 to save it. Before we enable the definition, direct your attention to the information area. The status field indicates whether CICS exec interface tracing is enabled in the current target CICS region. Tracing indicates whether CICS exec interface requests are being processed and traced. Lastly, the transaction data exec CICS field indicates the current configuration option for exec interface data collection. Let's enable our trace definition. From the CEI trace display, we are going to overtype enabled in the status field of our new trace definition. After pressing enter, our definition is enabled and the tracing field in the information area is now showing as active. Now we will wait for a transaction matching our definition's match criteria to run. As you can see, there is now a value of 1 in the definition's use count field. Let's disable our definition and move on to the CICS exec interface trace log display. The CICS Exec Interface Trace Log, or CEIT log, displays CICS transaction records that have been monitored or traced based on an Exec Interface Trace definition. At the bottom of the log is the entry of the transaction we just ran. Selecting the entry brings you to the transaction record. If you jump down to the Exec Interface section of the record, you can see that it contains Exec Interface Summary Report and Exec Interface Detail Report subsections. The Detail Report lists each Exec Interface request as its own entry, whereas the Summary Report consolidates requests by Program Name, Offset, and Exec CICS Request Type. The exec interface detail report only appears when the trace level parameter in our definition is set to detail. Let's go back to the CEIT log display by hitting the PF3 key. Note the fields TRAN and OTRAN. TRAN is the ID of the transaction that was traced, whereas OTRAN is the ID of the originating transaction. Trace definitions creating using the CEI trace command will look to match either of these. 
This concludes our tutorial on tracing CICS transactions using the CICS Exec Interface Trace command. All of the information presented in this video and more is located on the CA SysView wiki at wiki.ca.com/sysview, beginning with SysView 14.0.